Good morning, XRP Future Millionaire here, and this isn't for an update in particular, but this is um this is this is a lesson. So the lesson, the main lesson or the main rule that you need to understand in trading is you have to take emotion out of trading. So what I mean by that is until you take your emotion out of trading, and when you're looking at the screen, if it's not just numbers. You have a problem. You have to be an emotionless trader. You have to get to a point to where it's just numbers on the screen. Once it becomes just numbers on the screen, you can actually trade the market. So when we're looking at this right now, if you're feeling anything other than 53 cents for XRP, you're using emotion. When I'm looking at this right now, it's purely, okay, what's going on, Tom? Well, what we're looking at is in the four hour time frame, we're trying to come up to the 20 day. We have crashing volume. There's only two hours and 41 minutes left in this candle, which means we're getting closer to halfway point in this candle, but the volume is still maintaining real low. We have crashing volume on the candlesticks. So now we have to ask ourselves, can we have come up above the 20 day? So right on a piece of paper, 54,677 for XRP, you're an emotionless trader, remember that. You're looking at the numbers. So from a pure number standpoint, can we get past 54,677? If so, we can make a little run possibly. We're gonna need volume with it because right now we're gonna end up self-destructing here at the 20 day because we don't have enough volume. So right now, you don't think about anything else but the numbers. You can't let your emotion dictate what you're gonna do in the market. The moment you let your emotion dictate what you're doing, you're done. I often tell people, I like to buy before the rally starts and I like to sell before the top because I'm looking towards the head formation, but I'm not trying to buy the top, not trying to sell or not trying to sell the very bottom or buy the very bottom, I should say, and I'm not trying to sell the very top. I'm using percentages to do what I do. You know, you're looking for percentage gains. Once you start chasing the very top or trying to buy the very bottom, that's when you miss out on everything or you start chasing and you buy into a dead rally or you sell out to an ending drop. You sell in to the end. Like you're selling in to the flush when it's about to reverse. Or you're selling in when there's always a retest. That's why yesterday I kept saying, we're gonna have to have a retest here, we're oversold. And I said, when we didn't have the daily close on XRP, I told everybody the perfect spot to buy. If we don't close under the day's low, you buy because then we have to trade within the channel. And that's exactly what's happening right now. We're trading within the channel. And now we should cap any upside without a volume spike at the 20 day, which is the red line. That's the 200 day in the four hour time frame. This is a completely normal retest. So take this out of this update. This is all I'm updating right now. What you just seen, until you take your emotion out and look at the screen and it's just numbers, you're never gonna be a real trader. So remember, until you take emotion out of trading and it's just numbers, your emotions are gonna dictate every move. You need to let the moves be dictated by the pattern. Right now, sit back, hang tight, the 20 day, we'll see what happens. The first real chance to buy if you didn't buy when it hit the downtrending support line in this falling channel, because like I said yesterday, we're within a falling channel and until it breaks the channel, we're in a channel. I feel like we're gonna bust it, but right now we're in it. So you watch the four hour time frame in the 20 day, and until we get on top of that, you won't buy back into the market. If we show support on that red line on the 20 day, then you can buy it and try to ride it up to the top of this um, falling channel, which would be about 58 cents. XRP Future Millionaire, don't take this lightly.